हेलो आई होप यू गाइज आर एक्सपेरिमेंटिंग वेरी वेल टू रेम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट यस अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट एंड माई न्यू टास्क इज टू डेकोरेट दीज प्लास्टिक पॉट्स हेयर आई हैव इलेवन पॉट्स एंड ऑल पॉट्स आर एक्चुअली वेस्ट प्लास्टिक बॉटल्स एंड कंटेनर्स फ्रॉम माई किचन Firstly, I'll apply the base coat, and uh, then I'll decorate them with the dot painting. For base coating, I'm using brown color from Asian Paints, and brush which I have is Super Johnson Grand Number no. Fourteen, and uh, the bristles are so smooth, means I could even use it to. Paint my face, but I won't. <laughs> Even I can use it to clean my plant's leaves sometimes. Um, so let's start the project. And uh, to open this bottle, I'm using back of my spoon. Um. I need to mix it properly. Okay, my mixing is done. And now I'll just apply the base coating to all my pots and uh, then after I will leave it for a day for fixing the base coat. Firstly, I'll apply single coating to all my pots, and if it needs, then I'll go for the double coating. I think the single coating is far enough, and uh, I don't think so that uh, I have to go for the another layer of the coating. Again, I'm telling you, these are all plastic bottles from my kitchen, and uh, I don't want it to trash them. That's why I just started to. Use them like a planter, and uh, in the journey of these waste plastic bottles to the beautiful planter, I have just cut the bottles into two equal halves, and then I made lots of drainage hole at the bottom of the lower half of the bottle that resembles the cup-like shape, and uh, the soil which I have used in these pots is the red soil. mixed with coco peat and the plants which i have planted in these pots are mostly from cuttings and babies of my plants which is known as mother of thousands i'm done with the base coating almost and uh, now i let them dry for a day these are all the pots which i have to paint For the dot painting, I'm gonna need variable size tips, like uh, Q-tip for medium size dots, used agarbatti sticks for the smaller dots. Match sticks. for slightly large uh, larger dots from the smaller dots back of this fine brush can also be used in the smaller dots this one can be used for the smaller to medium size dots and this tip i'll use for the bigger dots and second most important thing which i need is this uh, fabric color the reason for using them is they are waterproof and uh, i don't want that my whole process or my effort goes wash off in the water If you don't have fabric color, you can use white glue with this K 
cameline color cakes and if you have this kind of colors you can also use it with mixing fabric wool in it and you need a fabric to wipe out your all the stains from the tips now this is the time for coloring let's color and firstly fix this spot and let's start dotting here i'm trying to create a dot mandala and uh, there is no such rules that when i have to apply the smaller dots and when i have to apply the bigger dots that's totally up to me if you are getting peaks or bumps in your dots like mine then try adding a small bit of water to your paints it may be that your paint is just too thick that's why just always try to use the gradient of colors which i haven't used here but i suggest that you should do it to enhance the gradient effect and to add some depth to the pattern paint smaller dots on the colored dots of each row i'm done with the first part and let's start the next one on this part i'm painting flowers of two different styles one is uh, with the dotted work and second one is by drawing small and tiny petals these patterns are so simple and the simplicity is making it so beautiful i'm loving it and this is the third one i'm just painting simple leaves and then again painting the flower with the dots and again the leaf pattern and now i'm making a flower in fluorescence with the parallel dots this is the leaf kind appearance and this pattern is unknown to me and uh, this is the next one and again on this part i'm uh, drawing the flowers with the dots of different colors this looks like uh, the rat rani wala flower and on this part i'm uh, drawing the leaves giving the dotted edges these portals don't have the smooth surface that's why i'm not able to draw any perfect image but still i'm trying to decorate it perfectly means it can give me a good look at least this is the milk made wooden dabba from my kitchen and on this i'm doing the dot mandala and to make it contrasting i'm using the orange color and white color mostly i'm not willing that you have to use the same pattern but you can use it as a guideline for your painting if you want to paint your pots then here are some guidelines which you can use while painting your pots the first one is slow down be there be in the moment and the second one is try to uh, try to paint non sketched mandalas means if you are not doing this already make sure to paint non sketched mandalas 
the non skills mandalas are the best kind of mandalas to practice and maintain a high level of accuracy and it all depends on you to paint and maintain the size and distance of the dot equals and uh, so it grows evenly from the center out and uh, this also contributes to your vision of symmetry or uh, you can later apply to sketched or partly sketched mandalas and uh, always try to count the dots means if you have maintained the size and the distance accurately the numbers of dots around each dot even center dots should be the same and the most important tip is don't ever try to compare your work with others right because uh, sometimes we look for inspiration on the on a social website and when we feel that we need an inspiration it is usually because we are either excited about making new and different stuff or uh, might be because our own well of ideas and muses dry so in this case if we look at another creator's work might cause the exact opposite effect of what we expected and wished for when we turned to search for it in the first place that's why be sure to always and only concentrate to your own progress not to the others and now this is the final look of my all paintings which i have painted today i hope you liked it and if you do then please do comment and start using your your own waste plastic bottles and containers from your kitchen to make a new and beautiful pot a planter take care